Good morning, class. My name is Dr. R.A. Poole, and welcome to your virtual course. Here's Math 60 Calculus course. I had sent you several emails regarding the course, and I hope you've had a chance to explore that. When you go to the home page of Canvas, besides the information about the course that is given, I start with number one, a short video clip. It's a welcoming me message. I am very happy to have you here. Um, I wish you best of luck in every aspect of your life, especially in your uh, educational endeavor. Number two, class philosophy. Class philosophy. This class is a community and therefore, we all have the same objective, to learn. Online students often feel isolated, but it is vitally important to know you are not in this alone. I would like each of you to approach our online class with a great attitude and a willingness to help one another. Many problems and questions can be resolved by asking a fellow student. I am always here to help you, but I truly believe your experience will be more fruitful if you communicate with your fellow students as well. Let us work together to make this a memorable semester for each and every one of us. Course Objectives the objectives of our Calculus 1 course are about the introduction of fundamental concepts of calculus, which is a branch of mathematics focused on understanding rates of change and accumulation. Accordingly, the main goal of Calculus 1 is to introduce students to the fundamental ideas and techniques of calculus, which are essential for understanding change and variation in a variety of fields, including physics, engineering, economics, and more. The course will be centered on several main topics covering the notion of basic concepts of analytic geometry, limits and continuity, and differentiation and integration of algebraic and trigonometric functions. Applications include related rates, extreme value problems, area under a curve, volume of revolution, work. Instructors contact information. Email me via Canvas or use the email address maraeipor at lbcc.edu, and I reply from Monday to Friday within 24 hours. Uh, if you email me from Canvas, it has the information about your course. Uh, if you don't use the inbox of a Canvas, make sure in the subject, write the course that you're registered in, which is Math 60 with the section number. Number three would be the announcements. I'm going to put this in student view. You can click the announcements right here or on the left navigation bar right here. These are the announcements that have been emailed to you. And generally speaking, every announcement i make sure that students receive an email so for any reason if you miss that you can find it under the announcement and basically what we have here is some uh, recorded orientation a welcome and orientation and there was a few emails uh, welcoming you to do your virtual course and asking you to explore the course Rather than to continue with number four, I just want to remind you, under three, this is telling you, if you want to attend the class, you click on this Tech Connect Zoom. And it's important when you join, you put your full name as it appears on the roll sheet. If you go down, because there's another Zoom link here, this is for a student uh, office hours, okay, in essence, so you don't want to mix them up. 
Going back up, under number four, we see the syllabus and then the modules, homework, quizzes in WebAssign, discussion forum, exams, and so forth. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with the syllabus. You have two files there, the actual syllabus and then the Excel calendar, although the synopsis of that you can find it under the syllabus, but let me just quickly go over that and show you that, wow, it's, Uh, something went wrong. Okay, that's very strange. Um, I will look into that. But it does have the information that we need as far as the exams are concerned. And every few weeks we have an exam. Okay. Here's the actual syllabus. Let's uh, look at that. Of course, welcoming you to the course. Uh, that's the start. And then because syllabi are getting larger and larger, what I've done is uh, I've set them up with topics so you can go to a topic of interest. I'm going to spend a couple of minutes covering the whole syllabus. First, of course, the uh, semester, the timing of the semester, the name of the course, the section number, and so forth. Then we have the course catalog, student learning outcome, course objectives, the text. And you really don't have to purchase the text because you have it available to you in the form of an ebook. Okay, so when you uh, start the class under the modules, you have access to it. And then they give you, I think, a couple of weeks of free access. So these are the prices that they have told me in the past. If there has been a change I appreciate if somebody uh, gives me the updated version, but this is what they have sent me. This is from the publisher. Uh, class calendar, again, this is the Zoom link for us. Exams. Uh, the way I've set up the uh, exams is such that every exam is taken on Saturdays. Uh, let me just scroll down. Okay. Every exam is taken on Saturdays. And uh, there is no proctorio. I want to make sure everybody understands what I'm trying to say. Uh, I believe you're all here to learn. So whether I take the exam on campus, online, at a specific time or not makes no difference. When I'm taking the exam, I just follow the instruction, which is as follows. I can't use the lecture notes. I can't use the PowerPoints. I can't use the formula sheet, okay? The only thing I may be able to use is a scientific calculator. In most cases, not even a graphing calculator. Now, uh, when you take the exam, I'm not there but I'm assuming everybody's here to learn. And when we move on to the next course, if we don't do the right way, we are going to have a difficult time with the next course. Okay, we don't need anybody to watch over us when we take the exam. I hope that's the attitude for all of us. Okay, so every exam, takes place, it's due on Saturday, about a week in advance. That means the Monday of that week, you receive an email slash announcement that gives you the instruction as far as the exam, the details, including the password. If you miss that for any reason, you can find it under the announcement, okay? Now, I am suggesting that you take it no later than 9 p.m. on that day that the exam is due. Although the moment you receive the email, pretty much you can take the exam before the due date, okay? So there is no specific set time, but it does have, it does expire at 11.59 p.m. Just for the sake of argument, let's say you start the exam at 11. That gives you 59 minutes only. So no excuses, take him in time. 
So as I mentioned, there's no proctorial exam, there's no camera, and I believe in you, and I believe you are here because you want to learn, okay? Our meetings, we meet from 10 to 12.30 on Tuesday, Thursday, some important dates, calculators. Uh, you will we be um no questions please i will answer every question at the end please so calculators you may use a scientific calculator with your exams graphing calculators you may be able to use it for some exams again i will answer every question at the end please let me finish with the recording take support we have the tech support for web assign, for campus, for distance learning, for Canvas. All of them are posted here. Math Success Center. The tutoring center is available to you. We have the information, including the website for you to check it out. There are other helpful websites. And then this may be the most important thing as far as the students are concerned the grading policy. Online homework, you have multiple attempts, you get 200 points. Quiz, you have one attempt, 60 points. Review participation slash discussion board, 40 points. There are four of them, each one is worth 10 points. Tests, there are four of them, 100 points each. And the final exam, comprehensive, 300 points. Now, as far as the final exam is concerned, although it's comprehensive, it's basically based on the previous exams. So it should be a fairly easy exam. There is no makeup policy. If something comes up, you can send me proper documentation and I may give you the makeup exam. But the answer is very simple. Uh, it's not a set time. You have a whole week. Of course, it's due on Saturdays. And most students take it that way, that day. But if you have to take it earlier, that's fine. Also, your lowest grade before the final may be replaced by the final. If the final score is a grade of B or higher, 80% or higher. Homework, quiz, and discussion board. All of them must be good. How good? 95% or higher. And more importantly, this action will result in a higher letter grade. So if I change that and nothing happens and your uh, overall course grade remains the same, it defeats the purpose. If you miss an exam, of course, uh, it's zero. The course late work, we uh, there's a 10% penalty for a, a late work. I highly recommend you don't use that. Number one, you get behind. Number two, you, you, you lose 10%. And of course, for uh, discussion forum, quizzes, exams, there is no uh, late pass in essence. Uh, then we have more information. And one of the things that I'm really interested to go over that for these students is known as CSULB study 36, and you can look up the website. In short, what it says, we need three times the number of units hours per week for a course to be successful. So for this course, we need three times five, 15 hours. That's the nature of this course. If you wanna master the course, this is how much time you need it. As far as the dropping goes, uh, if anybody misses the orientation the first day, uh, doesn't register with the publisher immediately, miss any of the assignments, especially the first week of assignment and uh, the first few exams, because in any event, it will be very hard to catch up. Then I have more uh, interesting information, such as DSPS, Financial Aid Office, and so forth. And we have the summary step to success here, which means in short, you do watch the video lectures, you do homework and quizzes, and you study the practice test to get ready for the exam. And the Office hours are posted at the bottom of the home page of Canvas. It is also posted here. Uh, other uh, useful information such as uh, basic needs and so forth. 
The last thing I want to discuss is known as Netiquette for Online Learning, which is really the same as on campus. Uh, what's, what's happening is that we want to be absolutely professional and courteous towards everybody, fellow students, professors, staffs, everybody. So that's really the bottom line. Whether it's on campus or online, it makes no difference. Uh, this is a college course. So when you send an email, you want to make sure you use correct spelling and grammar. And in short, in short, just a positive tone. Just be positive, be courteous towards uh, everyone. So I want everybody to feel comfortable. And if a student want to approach a fellow student or a professor or staff, I want everybody to be absolutely uh, comfortable with no problem whatsoever. So this is uh, the syllabus. I spent some time on that. If you missed anything, just go back and check it out. I'm going to go back to the homepage. After the syllabus comes the modules. And since the modules has most everything, I'm going to go over the discussion for it. Okay, everybody first. And then I'm going to go to the modules. What do we find under the discussion forums? First and foremost, student bios. I put mine as a sample. Uh, I recommend you do yours. Uh, if you read others and you want to uh, have a comment for them, please uh, just make sure you use uh, absolute courtesy and uh, be encouraging. It's nice that fellow students help each other. So that is uh, excellent if you want to do so. The next one is called FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions. Uh, sometimes students have had questions in the past, so I try to put them here. So before you email me, you can check that out. For example, can I? how do I use the math editor? Okay, so for a discussion for him, for example, it's here. Uh, tech support, okay. Um, another example is where to find the exam password. Now, uh, the exam password will be sent to you in the form of an email slash announcements. Uh, as you recall, when I showed you the announcements, we didn't have that. Now, I, I this is not in uh, student view. Therefore, I can show you the announcements. And under the announcements, when the time comes on Monday of the exam week, you see the title exam one. This has all the information about the exam, including the password. So if for any reason you miss that email, go to the announcements. Going back to the discussion forum. And again, I can go to discussion forum on the left navigation bar or right here makes no difference. And so with that being the case, what is next? Now there are four more and they are graded and each one is worth 10 points. So for example, the first one, and as long as you can do the first one, then you know exactly what to do with the next. Please, please read the instruction before you attempt it. DB, module one topics, post your math questions from module one. No unread replies. No replies. You are required to post, at least, one question and its solution. This question must be chosen from the topics covered in this module, a question of your own choosing from any sources, per grading policy in the syllabus. You must read all the posts and make sure not to duplicate any questions, similar questions are acceptable. Read all the posts, questions and solutions posted by others first, and pick a different question to post, no duplication is allowed. A question with one word, one line solution, or definition is not acceptable and results in zero points for the post. Five points. Write the question number and copy down the question. Show all steps using the math equation editor or embed an image solution as explained below. Find a similar problem online, or on YouTube, or Khan Academy and post the link. 3 points. Comment on, explain, at least one classmate question that is either solved or is found online and posted by watching it carefully in its entirety. 
Explain about what the question addressed and what you learned from it and outline a few steps you learned as a result, a compliment is nice but is not a comment. To receive credit for this part, write the name of your classmate. Two points. Example of a student post, made up example. So I have an example here. I go over the detailed solution. Then I find a similar question online in the form of a YouTube. And then I'm commenting on somebody's work, supposedly. So if somebody reads my comment as an idea of what I've learned uh, from that post and what that post is all about. Also, have the information as to how to embed an image and how to use the math editor. Uh, students must be able to see your work. I should be able to see your work. No, if anybody has to download anything, it's not acceptable. They have to see it. So don't upload a PDF file and expect everybody to, you know, download it into the computer. That's not acceptable. Going back to the discussion for him. So the first two are not graded. The last four. Module one, module two, module three, module four. Each one is worth 10 points. They will be graded. So I'm gonna go back to the home page. And the module covers a lot of stuff. So let's look at the modules. The first one is where you do your assignments in WebSI. And you can click on it, register, get started. The second one is the ebook. Ebook is available here as well as here in WebSI. The next one is the recorded practice test lectures. So let me show you what that is. I will go back to this one at the end. So where do you find this? Let me, before that, show you that we have exam one, two, three, and four module. Okay. At the end, we have some more information. And then graphing calculated command. These are the chapter reviews. So there are a lot of uh, resources available to you. So I'm going to go back. And I'm going to start with the first module. So what you find there. First, we have a pre-calculus test. It's not being graded. It's a diagnostic test with the answer key. That was for algebra, this is for geometry, functions, so on and so forth. Now, trigonometry. If you spend time on this and you feel comfortable, that means you're more than ready to move on with calculus. If you are, if you're uncomfortable, if you've been away uh, from math for a long time, you definitely want to spend more time on this and master this. Okay, this is not being graded. Graded. Okay. Then after that, what do we have here? These are my powerpoints for the lectures. 
starting with section 2.1 all the way to the end of the chapter. If you download this and you put it in slide mode, when you come across a page, it's not going to give you the whole thing, rather line by line or paragraph by paragraph, it goes through that. More importantly, when you come across an example such as this one, it's in slide mode. It's a PowerPoint in slide mode. You won't see the whole page. You just see the question. You just see the question, example. Then step-by-step -step solution, rather than giving you the whole thing in one shot, it gives you step-by-step -step solution and it will make a perfect sense. And I highly recommend you do that. If you go back, you can go to the next section and the next section. So everything is available to you with details when it comes to the lectures. Now, after you finish module one, you know what to do with the rest of it. Exam two module has the PowerPoints, exam three, exam four, which covers a portion of chapter five and just 6.1. And then we have the chapter reviews here. Uh, I have the chapter reviews in the form of a PDF file and a PowerPoint file. And these are the ones that we cover. So you have access to everything here. But more importantly, you're going to pay attention to make sure you understand everything step by step. So when we go over this stuff, you have access to this, for example. And again, We explain everything as we come across the example. You will see I'm going to put it in slide mode, and therefore we're going to go step by step. So again, after the fourth module, these are the chapter reviews that we are going to cover. And again, I want to mention that Actually, if I put this here, and the first one is the chapter one review. We will also go over chapter one, which is a review mainly from uh, previous courses. This is a graphing calculator information if anybody needs that. What do you find there? As we go down, first and foremost, I am showing you how to find online calculators for free. For example, down here, online calculators and resources. These are calculators you can find for free, okay? Also, if you want to get the TI-84 emulator, you can follow that. It may or may not work. If it works, you can get this on your computer. And again, this is in case you don't have a calculator because I believe everything should be free for the students. So if that thing, if you can make it work, and sometimes it doesn't because it, it really doesn't belong to me. I uh, have found it and it seems to be working sometimes, uh, but these online calculators, they will work all the time and they're always free, okay? And then we have information about TI commands, okay? TI calculator and the commands. All right, so we have all of those under the modules. Now what I wanna do, I wanna quickly uh, go to WebAssign, so this one, 
if you click on it, it will let you register. And it, is, it will take you to website. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in a student mode again. So obviously it's on my assignments, but if it's not, if you can click on my assignments, uh, my ebook, you can find it here. Or you can find it in Canvas. I mentioned it. What I want to make sure that you understand, the very first assignment is doing a couple of days. The rest of them, look at all of those. That's uh, February 23rd. Uh, I want to make a point of this. So everything that pertains to the first exam is due the day before the first exam. And then the first exam is due on Saturday. Now, what does it mean? I do all of my homework the day before the exam? Absolutely not. Every week, you want to do a few of the sections class. Otherwise, you will be behind. I can't emphasize this enough. Okay. So, for example, if you care, and the reason I've set it up this way, because in the past, some students were working, they couldn't do it on a daily basis. And I changed it so, so that uh, it's due the day before each exam. Please, if you wait until then, you will be behind. For example, this weekend, you should be done with the first few sections. So if you click on them, for example, this one, The homework comes up. So to do that, for any reason you feel uncomfortable, you can click on the video example. Many of the questions, not all of them have video examples. So I'm doing this question. I'm not too sure how to do that. I click on the video exam, okay? And I play it. I'm not too crazy about videos. I can click on read it. I can go to a specific section and just keep on reading until I feel comfortable and then do the question. I hope everybody is clear. So what uh, resources are available when I do my homework? I have video examples and I have read it that takes me to my text. You may not need any of it. I don't know, okay? And when you answer a question and you move on to the next one, you simply submit the answer or you practice another version, okay? All right, I think it's pretty straightforward, okay? Uh, of course, you can print the assignment if you want. There is no uh, reason to do so, but in case. And when you submit a question, uh, again, when you submit the answer, you can always practice another version, and that is in case you made a mistake, okay? You can uh, pick another one. So this is how you do the homework. And you have several versions available to you. In other words, uh, you attempted it doesn't work. Uh, you do another exam. 
uh, when it comes to uh, exam, that's not how it works. When it comes to uh, quizzes, that's not how it works. I think with the quiz, you have two versions. Okay. So uh, this could be due to uh, slow internet that it's got stuck. But anyways, uh, I hope it's uh, clear to everybody. Uh, I'm going to go back to where this is. Yeah, sometimes it happens. Going back to the home page of Canvas. I like to uh, recap everything. Number one. We have a welcoming message. Number two, we have a class philosophy. Number three, we have the announcements we can get to from here or the left navigation bar. They will be sent to us in the form of an email and will always be found here. If to come to the class, we go to Tech Connect Zoom right here and join with full name. Then under number four, we have the syllabus. We explore that. Then the modules contain the homework, quizzes, exams. At the end, we have student office hours. This can, this can be found on the syllabus also. So again, just quickly under the discussion forum, we have the first two that are not graded, student bios and frequently asked questions. The last four, each one pertains to one module, and that gives us 10 points each, total of 40 points. And then if we go to modules, first and foremost, at the very top, we see uh, the web assign, then we see the ebook, exam one module, that's all we are concerned with for the first exam. What else is there? Recorded practice test lectures. If you click on that, you find the first one is the recorded practice test and exam review. So is the second one. Okay. So is the third one. These are the previous ones. And here's the latest one. So if I click on this, Everything that we're going to go over, it's also here. It's all, it's already recorded. We are going to have recordings, new recordings. But if you miss anything, you want to go to the previous ones, you can check them. Or if you want to go ahead, ahead of time, you want to go through all those practice exams, you're more than welcome to do so. All of them are available to you, everybody. Okay. All of them are available to you. So that's. And the second one and third one are the same. This one, from section 1.1 to 5.5, those are the lectures per section. I hope you remember where we find the PowerPoints. And these are the lectures per section all the way to the end of the course, okay? So everything you need is already available to you, okay? So under the modules, the very first one, web assigned. The second one is the ebook. The third one, recorded. Practice test exams and sections. Everything is available to you. All right, everybody, I wish you best of luck and happy studying.